How do we differentiate between aptus ulcers and traumatic ulcers clinically? Proper recording of the patient's history can take us a long way. A patient can say an aptus ulcer occurred spontaneously, even though we know the actual etiology can be due to stress, heredity, nutritional deficiency or allergy. Traumatic ulcers occur due to a traumatic etiology that can be from the sharp edges of a teeth, danger or even consumption of hot food. The patient's history can reveal both type of ulcers to be of short duration and painful. So that requires us to conduct a proper clinical examination before coming up with a diagnosis. Aptus ulcers occurs on non-keratinized areas such as the labial or buccal mucosa, ventral or lateral surface of the tongue or the soft palate. There has been instances where it has even been reported on the uvula. Traumatic ulcers occurs beside the traumatic agent or the history can reveal a traumatic etiology to that particular area. Multiple aptus ulcers can occur simultaneously, whereas traumatic ulcers are usually single. Aptus ulcers are oval or round in shape. Traumatic ulcers tend to take the shape of the fending agent. There will be an erythematous halo surrounding an aptus ulcer. Traumatic ulcers usually tend to have a hyperkeratinized or whitish margin. So, these are the differentiating features between an aptus ulcer and a traumatic ulcer. Please like this video, share it with your friends and do subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell icon for notifications.